Now for the CBS News Philadelphia Pet Project with animal advocate Carol Erickson, the PSPCA. And look, it's Marvin again. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Such a I'd good be boy. in pretty bad shape if he weren't here. Yeah, you wouldn't be me. here. You'd be off this weekend. I, I Yeah, I'd be off for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you know, what we're going to talk about this morning, Jan and everybody, overweight dogs. Now, any person, dog, animal, horse, rabbit, cat, they can all get overweight if you feed them too much. But there is one breed of dog, and I found this interesting. It's not brand new research, but it was brand new to me, and it may be to you as well. There is one breed of dog that is genetically predisposed to get obese, and that breed of dog is, drum roll please, the Labrador, the Labrador Retriever, they can get absolutely huge. And that is because 25% of Labrador Retrievers have a missing part of a gene. It's a mutation, and it keeps them from feeling full after they eat. You can almost call it a fat gene. They just feel hungry all the time. So with one in four Labradors having this mutation, there is a reason that you may see these dogs continuing to have more dogs with that gene. And that is because they are so food motivated that they are fabulous service and assistance dogs because they will work for food. So they are very easy. You want them to do something, you give them a treat and there you go. And they are begging because they do not feel full. It's not just that you're feeding them too much, which is also the problem. But these dogs, because of that missing part of that gene, they do feel hungry all the time. They just never get that full feeling. So they don't have to be fed all the time. They can be fed as a normal dog. And, and, and you can read some of the stuff I was just telling you in some of these great graphics, but they literally can't stop eating. You don't have to keep feeding them like that, though. And they've actually analyzed more than 300 dogs. They've done 700 dogs. And again, and a quarter of them are the ones with this missing gene, so they're eating all the time. So these dogs just keep their weight at a normal weight. Don't feed them. I know it's very, very hard not to give in to those hungry Labrador eyes, but it is not good for them. The health problems that result from being overweight is a real problem. They've got heart disease, arthritis. They don't live as long. They are just simply obsessed with food, and now you just have to take it upon yourself to give them something else to do so that they can be uh, doing something that's fun, not just eating, so that they've got the energy to do something besides stuffing themselves. Again, Labradors are the only breed that have this genetic mutation that makes them feel just empty and hungry all the time. The other one that is closely related that may have it is the flat-coated ret retriever. But other dogs of other breeds do not have this gene. If they're fat, likely it's because they're not getting enough exercise, they're getting too much food, that sort of thing. So just pay attention for their health. But the Labradors, 25% of them do have an excuse, but don't let it be your excuse to keep them fat. So there you go. <laughs> Great dogs, though, they really are. Uh, all dogs are great, frankly. And we've got another, just a lovely cat here. We've got a lovely cat because cats are great as well. And this is the lovely Bubbles. Bubbles is a sweet, sweet girl. She's about six years old. She's gray and white, which is a beautiful combination on a cat. She would do well living with another cat. She might super enjoy that. She does have diabetes. A lot of animals do. It's easily managed. We'll show you how to do it. Bubbles would love to be in a home with a family that understands her and maybe, you know, I think people who have a similar health condition to their pet, they sort of get it and they go, okay, girlfriend, you know, I'm going to help you out too. We have another girl here, and this is a big girl named Minnie. She's two years old. She loves people. She loves to go to our events, meeting other dogs her size or bigger. She's just as nice as she can be. Probably not a candidate for a house with cats, so I wouldn't be adopting Minnie and Bubbles together or have a cat in the house because she probably would like to be with uh, maybe another dog dog, but she also loves snuggling, as you can see, and she loves treats, even though she's not part Labrador, and then, because they all love treats, frankly, and then we have Picard. Picard is almost eight years old. He's such a nice boy. He came back to us after his owner left housing, and when the owner lost their house, 
so did Picard. So he is back with the Pennsylvania SPCA. He is a great dog. He's playful. He's open to meeting other dogs, families, and kids. You can learn more about these dogs and cats and other dogs and cats on our website, PSPCA.org. We have fabulous animals there. We're open every day, 12 to 6, 30, 350 East Erie Avenue. And you can also look online and take a look at all of our animals. We've got lots of pictures, stories about them. Mainline Animal Rescue Associated with the Pennsylvania SPCA as well. So we've got lots of places, lots of animals, and lots of opportunities to find the love of your life.